Hello and welcome to Chirp Craft. My name's Chris and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to set up an automatic rubber farm. Uh, now the purpose of this is that without equivalent exchange 2 you no longer got condensers and collectors to really make whatever you want. So this is being done so that you can do get as much rubber as you really need without having to constantly go and click on rubber trees. Um, it's not as efficient as if you was to click on rubber trees all the time with your tree tap um, But it's still gonna work anyway, so To start off with We're gonna use some of the mine factory reloaded mod um, the First machine you're gonna want is a planter uh, I'm not gonna do recipes for this um, I'll show you some of them so that's for your planter um, and what you're going to want to do that you're just going to place that down then you're going to be getting a harvester show you that recipe so again that's your recipe for your harvester now you're also going to need some dirt so if you place on top of that a 3x3 three three grid 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and one on the end here and on the end here you want to place your harvester now this does have to face the right way, which actually is the right way. Um, I think the thing to move it is some sort of sledgehammer. Let's have a look. Yeah, precision sledgehammer. So if I use that on that, it should turn it around. And it does. So this side is what you want to face, face in here. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to put your rubber tree saplings into your planter. And your harvester, well, your planter is going to plant them here, and your harvester is going to break them down every single time they grow. Now, these machines actually work on either build craft power, so it can have to be a steam engine or higher, um, or industrial craft energy, so just a normal generator would work, um, and that's the way I'm going to do it. If I get a generator, right. So I decide where I want to put this easiest way. So I just place that next to it, straight next to that. I ain't got to use any wires then. I will have to use wires to connect it up to the bottom though. So um, cable. I'm not too sure if it's going to be too far away, but um, obviously you're going to need to power that. You don't have to power it with this. Um, you can obviously use any power source you like, but this is just convenient at the moment. So this should be getting power, which it is, and it's now planting. So this is harvesting, and this is planting. So what all that's going to do at the moment is just going to plant your rubber tree saplings. As soon as they grow, this harvester will chop them down. Now the harvester is going to chuck them straight into a uh, nearby pipe or I think it sends them to a chest a box so if I was to put a chest next to it it should send everything that gets chopped down into this box uh, you can do this with build craft uh, pipes but simply because you're going to be getting um, resin from the wood your wood and your saplings you're probably going to get um, caught up so if I just make it daytime again so from here you're gonna want to put a you're not you do need diamond pipe first so if you just get a not a diamond pipe uh, diamond pipe now diamond pipes gonna sort it um, so you send your stuff in the right direction diamond pipe and a 
tra a normal transport pipe. So if we just use a cobblestone transport pipe, we'll get a wooden one as well, just in case we need it. Okay, so this won't actually require a wooden one because it'll just send it straight into any pipe. So that next to it, bringing that down. Okay, so now what you want to happen is you want your saplings to go to here and you want your wood and resin to go down to a, na down a different pipe. So if you put your diamond pipe here, transport pipe here, here and here, when you get your sapling, in which in this case I have actually got it, I'm going to put it into the red one. Get rid of that. Uh, I haven't got saplings on me, why haven't I got any? Okay. I'll put them all in that, in, didn't I? Right, okay. So that's me, the sapling. So I've got to put that into the red one. Now, all me rubber tree saplings that come out of this will go straight to here. Now, you can set this machine to keep leaves as blocks, um, but if you don't, it'll just give you saplings as normal. So now we've got that set up, all your rubber tree saplings are going to go back into here which because generally you get more saplings than you do what you plant that will just keep growing now in here you obviously want your rubber wood and your uh, resin to go in there now I'm going to pull it so it goes into a chest and the reason for that is you get overflow when you go into your extractor next so you now want a transposer Now what transposer is, if you don't know, it's, uh, it's red power um, thing. All it does is basically sucks in. So if you put it next to an, uh, an inventory, it will suck it out of the inventory. If there's an item in front of it, it will just suck that item up. So uh, pneumatic pipes, it uses pneumatic pipes. Um, you can use redstone uh, pipes or, well, somewhere along those lines. Um, it'll work exactly the same. Now this is going to go into a extractor. So there's the extractor, you want it to go into the top, so I actually need another one along. So we put that there. Now what's going to happen is it's going to come out there and go into here. If we put another transposer here and turn it the right way in a minute um, and then a chest I'll get a screwdriver first so know what's going on screwdriver is the tool to uh, affect machines in red power so uh, you need know this is the right way because you've got a small hole at the back big hole at the front that's the one that sucks in and this one same again and that's a small hole yet. Yeah. And then put your chest next to that. Now they do actually need a pulse. So if I get a timer and some red alloy wire. Put the timer there. Uh, what you'll notice is as the time that gets the signal that just flicks over and that just means it's sucking in whatever's in there. So if we put that there. Now that should work exactly the same. So now that's sucking out. So that system's set up. I now need to get power to this extractor. And the way I'm going to do that is just use fiberglass cables. So fiberglass cables, uh, power it from either side as far as I'm aware. Okay, so that should now have power, which it does. So now what should happen is when these grow, this will cut it down. It will send everything through there. Now at the start until I get um, if I get it actually 
some rubber. Okay, you can hear it going now. I'll get some rubber wood and some resin. I can put those into blue. So in blue, we'll put one bit of rubber wood and the resin. And then that lot will go into there. So as you can see, the rubber wood's coming down. By the looks of it, I didn't get any saplings with that. Which is quite worrying. But it shouldn't be a problem. So, that will go into this chest. Now the reason for the chest is... I've got a bit of resin as well. Um, so that when this gets filled up with rubber wood, what would normally happen with a build craft pipe, it would just shoot the resin out because there's no place for it to go. Whereas with these, you should just keep it in the chest and then when that went. Oh, because this is flicked over to the side here, it means it's got something in its buffer and that thing that's in the buffer would be the resin. So until it actually can do what it wants to do, which is send it, it will stay like that and it won't pick up anything else. So if we wait for that to go, it's taken a while. So there's your rubber generating itself. You haven't really done anything, you set up your machine and it's just going to do it on its own. Uh, of course you can set up your... So you can use the bone mill on them. But if you're running around, then as long as you're near it, it will constantly work. Unless you put a weld anchor down. And which actually it will always be on. And it'll just constantly generate rubber for you. Uh, is this done yet? No, one more. Wait for this, and then we'll speed it up by using some bone mill. So once that's done, which is going to be in a couple of seconds, we should sh see the resin shoot out. There we go. So the resin's gone there. So, so obviously, where build craft pipes come in, they would just shoot it out, whereas this just keeps it, and now this is just waiting for more to come through. So if I get some bone mill, and use this on one. So now that that's grown, the harvester should kick into action and start chopping this down. And any saplings it picks up send through which it looks like it didn't get any saplings again try it again must get saplings at some point But yeah, obviously with a weld anchor this will just continue forever. Oh there we go, there's one that's been gone through. There's two. So some trees you get two, some by the looks of it you get none. But the, the saplings will go through to the planter, go back through and just refill that planter. And then you'll continue getting resin, rubber. and it will just send it here and you can collect it up now for this obviously you do need to power this constantly and just in this process we've used 6 coal now there are infinite energy generators um, which I'll do another tutorial on and you can even do an infant charcoal generator using exactly the same system which I'll do another tutorial on at a later date so anyway that's the rubber generator I hope you enjoyed. Bye.